Welcome back, everybody, to the finale of Julius Caesar Part 1, and it is going to be the Bello Gallico, or uh, Fight for Gaul, if I can guess my Latin. Let's do it. The battle at uh, Dragovia may have been a victory for Vercingetorix, but there is a hard truth that uh, Vercingetorix knew. He was unable to defeat Caesar's legions in an open field and only managed to be victorious at Dragovia because Caesar's men broke rank and attacked the fortified city head on. If he were to beat Caesar again, he would have to recreate the circumstances that led to his victory at uh, Dragovia for a second time. For Sangatorix gathered his forces of around 80,000 men to the fortified city of Elysia to make his stand. Caesar followed in hot pursuit to crush the last Gallic resistance once and for all. Alrighty. Oh, whoops. My volume is too loud. We are good. Uh, show these Gauls the true might of the Roman legions. All right. I have no idea if we are supposed to win this. Uh, looks like we do. Yeah, go us. Go team us. Oh, there's Marcus Antonius and Titus Labienus. Uh, retreat, fall back to Alicia to prepare for a siege. What are we waiting for? To get replaced by a paid DLC? Oh, no! <laughs> uh, not yet, Anthony. I will not suffer defeat like uh, Dragovia again. I've forbidden all an attack on Alicia. Okay. Our scouts have located some Gallic settlements around. Uh, we should destroy them. Okay. We don't have that many resources with which to work. <laughs> okay, starves Vercingetorix into submission by bringing his supplies to 0%. Current supply, 79%. Vercingetorix gets supplies from Oxcart reaching Alicia. Prevent Oxcart from reaching... Okay. Uh, raid the Gallic countryside, destroying the buildings that give you resources. Okay. We have a population of 200. After Caesar's defeat at the Battle of Dragovia, the Romans retreated and left behind some equipment so they could not train trebuchets or drummonds. Alicia is heavily fortified Opidium Vercingetorix now holds. It has a lot of HP on all of its buildings and is designed not to be attacked head on. To beat this mission, you must get Alicia's supplies to 0%. There are ox carts and trade cogs. Okay. Cut off the supplies. Caesar's forces are initially quite low in resources and villagers. It is quite important you take that what remains of your starting armor and use it to pillage the countryside. Well, we were doing that anyway. Okay. Uh, we're to the southwest. Versangatorix is with Elysia in the center. The Belgae tribes um, have mobilized their forces. Oh, we already defeated them. We'll fight them again. The Helveti, we beat those guys as well. Uh, they're in the east. The Ar Arverni, uh, they're in the west. There's the countryside. And there are the Germans, and they are mercenaries, it seems. So we should be enemies with, like, everybody except the Germans? Yep. All right. Off we go. Oh, there's a trade cog. Do we have any centurions? Are you a centurion? Okay, we do have at least one centurion to buff up our uh, legionaries. Linior. Linior. Okay. Salve. 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 Not really a traditional lure in that sense. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got resources. We got lots of resources. Okay, um... Wait, what am I doing? Built a mill much to the deer. Dum-dum? 
Gallic Turcoats. Koi. Oh, Turncoats. Reveals. Oh. Well, let's do that. Why not? Saves us the trouble of scouting. Okay, we uh, do not have a market. Salve. Heal far sooner. Alrighty. I guess we'll get some food from that. Hopefully we get food from this. Oh yeah, it looks like we got lots of resources. Well, I guess we'll just romp across the countryside. Uh, I thought I saw a relic somewhere. Oh, yeah, it looks like there are multiple relics. I luring a boar somewhere. Oh, there is the... <laughs> there I was luring the boar. You know, I'm not the smartest cookie sometimes. Didn't even realize I had a dock. Hey, let's just uh, keep this party rolling. Uh, okay, got a couple barracks over there. That. Um, oh, I was wondering where my units were. Now, I assume we're going to have to besiege for Sangatorix eventually. That's fine. But for the time being, we're just going to go after these guys. I, I'm not very concerned about them. Um, not too sure what that was all about. Eus, salve, edifico, edifico, pronto. Edifico, edifico, edifico. Oh! The Averni Warriors. Um, I guess we could go after them because there's like the Belge, the Helveti, and the Averni. Intera. So many resources right now. Okay. Salve, Impera, Eus, Edifico, Impera, Edifico, Edifico. That. Now we can get siege rams. There you go. That. Okay. Um, there is our buddy Versi. Versi Gentrix. Eus. 
Get a diversity. Oh, wait, I already have one. By Totatus. There are lots of bad guys. Meat Centurion is very expensive. Where is your mighty army? Uh, the role of Versengatorix was actually voiced by uh, Vlad Dracula. Our deadly horsemen wet itch to wet their blades. We cared not whether the blood, blood be Roman or Gaelic. Uh, 2,000 gold by selecting their castle. Okay, so we don't even need to uh, care about uh, trade tributes and everything. Uh-oh. Uh, research the Paladin upgrade. I don't really care. I'd rather have some chariots. There's a chance. Guess we'll get that. Okay, they are really starting to pump up the numbers. Alrighty, now we're starting to heat up. They don't have full upgrades yet. Okay, gold situation is looking a little bit uncomfortable. go over there with those guys. Um... Where's their gold to mine on this map? I don't really see a whole heck of a lot. Okay, there's some over there. Um... Let's finish for you. Start picking up those relics. Finish that castle and then add in more siege workshops. Okay, uh, we have our Germanic allies. Prontus, 
Oh, wait, there's more gold. Literally right there. Guess chop some more wood over there. We are closing in on our maximum population. Okay. You guys get back to attacking over there. There is more gold over here to take, which is a very important little factoid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I mean, th these guys will trash the place pretty quickly. Unfortunately, as I've said before, Romans are not really the defensive civ that the poets will sing of for ages to come. Okay, destroying all that Balagna. Let's get that back. We have tons of stone. There's more we can mine. Okay, so they just trade a bunch of paladins and caprams, it seems. Sure, those guys are helping over there. Uh, there is another relic right there that we should pick up. Guys are still torching buildings. Oh yeah, we can't make trebuchets, that's right. So are we supposed to siege this place with a bunch of captrams? Uh... Since trade cards to destroy their markets to stop this. I don't know if we're supposed to go after the, the tertiary enemies, but I feel like there's no reason not to. So I'll start with orange. Because for Singator, it's still at 100%. Yeah, no reason not to. We do need to make sure we defend at home, but we have a better late game. Yeah, whatever. Those are the Burgundians. That. Holy cow, I have so much stone. I really don't need to mine any, I just need to keep mining gold. I don't know why there are so few trees over here. Salve. 
really don't need rams over here. Uh, just having some defensive units, I think, would be perfectly sufficient. Crap. Alright, so I think I'm getting all that. Our ally should hopefully be assisting us here. Okay, we defeated the Galax countryside. Oh, our heroes. I forgot about them. There's Caesar and his friendos. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I wonder if destroying that university gets us anything. Oh, uh, wait, where is the rest of my army? Okay, they have another, like, town or something over there. Go get that stuff. Salve. You've got 6,000 stone. We might as well spend it. Oh, why are you guys not doing anything useful? Okay, well, I guess defending against these guys is useful. But kind of like, what was it, the last scenario? Maybe the scenario before? Where it's like, if we're facing a bunch of enemies, it's toughest at the beginning, when there are still all of them left, but as you defeat them over time, like as you defeat one by one by one by one, that becomes easier and easier. So in the context of this being as hard as it gets, I think we're totally fine. I mean, yeah, it's annoying we can't make traps for whatever reason. But I don't think it's the end of the world. We did not get anything from the university. SMH. Oh, what? You get to make Travis, but I don't? Disgusting. Um, oh, there's like gold over there, I guess. That is the one thing I'm a little worried about is potential gold income. Now, Versangatorix is still at 98% supplies, which feels a little not so good. Okay, there's a bit of gold there we can take. Right, all this is looking basically fine. I would like maybe a few more bills of wood. Should be able to bank up more of that. Stop it, jerk. Um, 
mean, yeah, we still have our Z drabs. And though I'd also like having some trebs, I think that would just be useful. It is not the end of the world that we don't have. These guys have a market we could trade with. No, they do not. How inconsiderate of them. Okay, so gold pickings are looking a little slim. Not making many scorpions because this isn't really the situation for them. Hopefully get that. And then we'll just, you know, build up near uh, blue, and then we'll go to yellow, and then we'll take down Versingatorix, I think. Veni, Vidi, Vici, and all that. <laughs> oh, that sounds like something I would say. You know, the thing with that you say in the Latin with the, the people and the place. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, I do want to get these other relics, though. And we can get some scorpion support now. Go get the relic over there. Uh, didn't really need those fire ships. I think orange was the only one of them that trained a navy. Now these carts go along roads leading to the city. What we could do, and rather what we should do, is we should just start building towers on the roads. Like, not close to the city, but, I mean, we have all of this stone. Oh, uh, one, why are all you guys being lazy butts? Go that way. Oh, there's a university there too I never destroyed. Hey, you wanna not? Um... Okay, that is another big attack. Kind of need to watch out for this. Uh, but these guys really don't seem to have all that fortified of a base. It seems like the uh, Averni were the most well-defended of the, the Bados. Or no, Yellow also has. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> oh, that's pretty goofy. Okay. Oh, I thought we were dealing with these guys. I thought I was like, hey guys. You're going to deal with all the enemies, right? Right, fam? And, you know, go Team Ornlu. Holy cow, these guys don't have much wood. I don't know, four towers sounds like it should be enough. Uh, Caesar has been wounded. Whatever. Salve. 
Salvo, che dici tu? Incarico. Impera, salve, recte, tibisario. Ad arma! Look at all that stuff. I do want some stone income at this point. Oh wait, but, but here's gold. Uh, yeah, let's go grab that stone. Okay, looks like they have another fort over there on the other side of the river. Um, Edifico. Mine a little bit of stone over that way. And we're now going to go to that side of the river. Go get that. Um, some more towers over there. Again, I don't know why I chose four. Four just seems like a good number to ensure that no trade cards get passed. No. Like N O no. Oh, I forgot about you. Okay. Clue's not doing anything useful now for him. Oh, they can go after my towers, though, which is rather annoying. Oh, not the bunker! Um, did I lose my whole... What are you buffoons doing? Ah! Oh, were they going up to the freaking trade carts? Um, yeah, it looks like that whole area is getting blocked. That whole area is getting blocked. It seems like it honestly just screws up with their task. Oh, yeah, you bet it's screwing up with their task. Who thought I'd need mass Roman towers and not AoE 1? No, I need four towers exactly, for whatever reason. I'll figure that reason out eventually, don't you worry. Alright, uh, let's get a castle up over here, and then we can start with more production. Because our pop's not looking so hot. How many Belgay rebellions have I crushed? I may have lost count. Feels bad, man. As the kids say. Edifico, 
Salve. Salve. Ed impera. Ed Salve. Odio. Hey, don't attack me with a siege ram. Yeah, there's sappers for you. Salve. TB ser. Salve. TB ser. Peo. Impera. Salve. Impera. TB ser. Impera. Okay, uh, let's actually have our whole army start to regroup over here. Now, I wouldn't say that the idle, select all idle military hotkey, uh, shift plus comma is the default one, is like, it, you don't want it to become a crutch instead of just uh, using regular hotkeys. But it is helpful to check every once in a while to make sure you get any straggler units that may just have, you know, spread out onto the map or something. Salve. Impera. Yeah, Versingatorix is still at a very high, very, very high percentage. Whoa! Stop it, you! Hey! Oh, there's two Versengatorixes. I literally just realized that I'm not the smartest guy in the world sometimes. Oftentimes. Very often. Uh, we have no towers on this road right now. We're just going up to six, guys. We're going wild. <laughs> Look at all these trade cards that, like, walk into the tower fire and then just stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, we're still going to need to win in the not horribly distant future because we just don't have the gold. I mean, we can start taking stone and selling it for gold, but it doesn't feel like that's going to be a long-term sort of solution. It's like one of those short-term type of solutions. So let's get a little more wood income. Okay, now we just have yellow over here. We just have like cav archers and sea trams. It's not really the scariest thing in the world. Salve. <laughs> Just funny seeing all the carts filled up. I guess this. I guess if they run into a castle, they just die before they can turn back properly. Yep. Impera. <laughs> Edifico. All right, sea traps showing up. Yay! 
Yeah, these guys might have had a better chance if they didn't rely on health heavy cav archers. Hey, stop it! Okay, so here's my concern, is that Versengatorix was getting supplies for a really long time before I could stop up all the... Oh no. And now he's even going after those. Um... Yeah, I'm really kind of worried that... Uh-oh. Gauls are no match for O'Neill before the eagle... ...or something. So... Here's the thing. Yeah, the, the 20,000 HP and they're surrounding the place with fire towers, so my siege rams aren't going to do anything. Okay, so it seems like their percentage is slowly dropping. Okay. Oh, hey, it's the university. I guess I'll destroy it finally. Wait, no, they shot it back up to 99. Because I can't defend every single pathway indefinitely. I just don't have the, uh, the population for that. It's not like Roman defenses are any good either. Yeah, it's, it's 20,000 HP, guys. I'm, I'm not going to bust through that anytime soon. I'm not going to waste all my gold doing that. Prontus, edifico. Ooh, wait, he also has a navy. How did you get stuck over there? <laughs> oh, they also destroyed my monastery. Good jerks. I mean, in these straight up fights, I can win. We need some towers, like, along edifico, here, I think. Edifico, edifico. Salve, edifico. Impera. Edifico. Salve. Eo. Impera. Eo. Eo. Ad pugnam. Trade cards also come from the other direction. Edifico. Salve. Let's get some 
scorpions. They seem to like attacking over here. Another castle, since those are actually useful defensively. Okay, so we see all the areas in which the, the trade or the ox carts spawn. Okay, wait, he's at. Nope. Let's jump back up to 100. over here. Yeah, that one's still going to get through. Unless... Ha ha! Biscor. All right, let's bump up the speed. Don't want to be here all year. Okay, wait, carts are getting through there. Oh, come on. Get all that, I guess. Salvedifico. Okay. Maybe. Okay, now they're pa or percentage thingy is dropping. Don't. Crap, one gets through there. Impera, salvete. Lignor. Confestim faxiam. Eo. Edifico. Man, it is hard to get every single entrance. Salve, confestim faxiam. Edifico. Ah! Pugnemus! <laughs> Okay, you you're dying. Salvete. Confestim faxiam. Lignor, lignor. Perfecto. And this one likes to go overland. Pronto. Salve. Salve. Edifico. Edifico. 
Okay, he's dropping a little bit now. getting in. What the heck? Why are you guys stuck? Oh, please don't boost you up like 10 billion percent. And did it. Uh, bravery against this victory would be possible with the goal conquered. No doubt the Senate will find some way to remove me from power. So my good men, I will need you to something something. We did it! Caesar would not tolerate another defeat, so he forbade all of his soldiers to attack Elysia head on. Instead, Caesar completely surrounded Elysia to starve and trap Vercingetorix and his men. Caesar built two walls around Elysia to starve the Gauls out. I guess I could have built walls, but there were a lot of angles. Vercingetorix sent word out, and tens of thousands of Gauls marched to relieve Elysia. Both the relief army and Vercingetorix attacked the Roman walls simultaneously, and despite being heavily outnumbered, Caesar had held the siege. Tens of thousands of Gauls were slain, and Marcus Antonius led Caesar's German cavalry, which inflicted a severe blow upon the Gauls. With casualties high and unable to break the siege, the Gauls retreated. Vercingetorix personally surrendered to Caesar, laying down his arms. With Vercingetorix's surrender, Caesar's wars in Gauls were won, but his story does not end here. Caesar had defeated the Gauls over eight years of campaigning, ignoring the Senate, who had secretly began plotting his downfall. Caesar was now loved for his victories against Rome's enemies, and now had to force uh, a veteran legions loyal to the bone. Caesar could now take power with the sword of the people and march on Rome. Alrighty. Uh, that, that, that was fun until the end where it was just, like, really grindy. Because they'd always, like, punch out and... You have to defend, like, 12 different locations all at once, which is kind of a lot. To not let one slip if they have uh, siege units and whatnot. Wait, they did have a market! I was literally like, okay, yeah, they don't have a market. Yep, don't have a market. They literally have a market. Perfectly placed for you. Oh my god, I'm such a doofus. But yeah, that was fun. Uh, I really enjoyed the Caesar campaign. Uh, but it's not done yet. We do have a part two, and we're going to do that one. And I'll see you guys next time for that one.